Hey guys, today I would like to share you 10 amazing jailbreak tweaks. They are also support up to 14.5.1. Now let's move on to the first tweaks. This is the tweak for your home screen where you can customize the layout of your home screen. Now if you hold on the icon of your home screen, you're gonna see two more options where you can edit welcome screen and then you can also edit a layout. Now let's go ahead and edit layout. And now from layout we have rows, but if I hit on it, you're gonna see we have a bunch of more options uh, where I can customize the widget size and so on here we have icon scale uh, you can also customize the size of your icon by just sliding uh, this button and then we have more we have uh, widgets I can also customize the size of the widget too like you see here now on setting uh, you can also customize the welcome touch as well so uh, previously I put emoji but now let's go ahead and go into uh, the touch let's say uh, welcome now it has been changed you can see we have the welcome uh, touch here next is a tweak for your keyboard it is called pro keys now uh, what it does it is basically going to give you an animation when you're typing and also uh, you can change the color on on the background of the keyboard as well now let me go ahead and go into the app store now if i type something here you can see uh, we have a cool animation while i am typing but uh, with this animation, uh, there are three options. Uh, this one, it is a firework. Let me go ahead and go into setting and change the animations. Uh, we also have bubble. Now let's go ahead and go into the app store again. And now we have a bubble animation. If you want a magnifying glass while you are selecting the text, I think this is very useful. Now, um, if I go into Safari for an example, now if I select on the text, so you can see we have uh, a magnifying glass um, it is going to uh, make the text bigger so you can see it clearly while you are selecting the text this video brought to you by app trend app trend allows you to quickly transfer app and app data from iphone to iphone or from iphone to pc and you can transfer app data including whatsapp line and viber and many more not only that you have ability to restore backup data or you can backup data from your iPhone into your computer and you can even install apps into your iOS devices. One more thing, if you want to transfer data from your iPhone to Android, you can upgrade app trend. More information can be found from the link in my video description. Usually when you are playing videos from YouTube, you cannot view the time even though you tap on the screen. But if you have installed a tweak, just pull down from the top you will be able to see the time and battery percentage of your iPhone. Usually when you are playing game, you cannot check the times or your battery percentage on your iPhone. So all you have to do is just install the tweak and pull down from the top. You're gonna get times and battery percentage right on the top below your notch. Move on to conditional. This one it is basically allow you to restrict the app from connected to the internet. Uh, using cellular data or Wi-Fi, uh, you can completely turn it off on specific app so um, like you can see from the screenshot here because I, I don't have sim card on my iPhone at all but all you have to do just go to setting and go to cellular data and you can set some app that can connect it to Wi-Fi or cannot so you can select from here with this one it allows you to have multiple tab inside Safari here just like the iPad now you can switch between tab here it is uh, very easy Lastly, it is a tweak called Harry Spring. Um, you can use your physical button to respring your phone. For example, if you want to respring, just hold on the side button and then click on the volume down and volume up. Your phone will be respring. You can read the description for more detail. Now, let me show you how to respring. You can see at the moment my phone has just respring. Thanks for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks. Then I will see you guys in the next one.